All right, I'm going to demonstrate how to add, again, logos and text to your 360 footage and some other post effects. Pretty common. Once your footage is already stitched together, you want to add some assets to it, get some branding. Let's go ahead and just jump into it so you can see what's going on. All right. So traditionally, when you add logos and after effects, you can just drag and drop. It's going to work fine. Obviously, that's not the case with deep rectangular video. In this case, if I just do this logo in here, this is what it's going to look like. Kind of skewed, wrapped around the edges. Looks like a Iron Man effect kind of format. So what we can do is have the plug-in Skybox or from Metal Skybox Converter. Now we can see that's already been in your bag. Let's go to the live viewer. And now we can see that looks correct. Another cool way that I use this a lot is to cover up 360 rigs in the bottom of uh, 360 video. And a lot of companies do this just to get some branding in there. Is that better? You don't hear me? All right, cool. All right. Let me just throw in a round logo here. This would be good for covering up, again, your tripod or any 360 camera rig. Apply Skybox Converter. Let's just move this down to the bottom. See that looks correct. Now the rig's covered up. Now you can go ahead and export your video and you're good to go. Now you don't have to do any scrubbing to mask out anything. Another common use is when your footage comes back from a 360 camera rig, typically your horizon is not going to be correct. We can fix this problem again with Skybox Converter. With the reorient tools, so there's another trouble, troubleshoot problem you can fix really quickly. Something else that's really cool is the post effects. So again, traditionally, if we wanted to add a blur to your 360 footage, this wouldn't work out too well, and I'll show you why. So this is just the regular After Effects Fast Blur. The problem is, it looks correct right now, but we're getting a seam on the back at the top. Let me just go ahead and show you. Move this over. see a seam right here. It's hard to see right now, but when you blow this up in a 360 video, it's going to be really obvious, very distracting. What Skybox has is the Skybox Blur. Turn this on. Now we're not getting any seams to the top or the bottom, so it's going to fix that problem for you. We've got other effects like glow, and sharpen and denoise. So again, you're not going to get any seams, no binding at the top, no ugliness at the bottom. They're all key frameable too, so this is a cool way. We were talking yesterday a lot about directing the viewer's attention when you're watching a 360 video. How can you control that? This is one cool way I like to experiment with. By rack focusing, kind of focus on elements like logos. So I'll just demonstrate this here. So we've got our metal logo on the front. I've got the Skybox Blur on the background footage there. You can keep framing between these two properties, change them out, kind of simulates a rack focus, draw the user's attention to different things, fade it in or out. So, yeah, that was just a quick overview of all the tools. If y'all have any questions, 